Yeah, we'll start it in street and then we'll throw it in track mode just so you can see the difference. Throw you in track mode right now. So right now we're in full track mode. Full track mode, bro. <laughs> you guys see it? Just got done driving this beast right here. Got a race in with it. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. Right here with my boy Mikey, What's aka good? Turb Raptor. Turb Raptor, sir. Yes, sir. Go follow him. YouTube, IG, all that. Yes, sir, Turb uh, underscore Raptor. Instagram and now YouTube. Yes, sir. We'll put it on the screen for him, too. And now it is time for my baby right here, man. I'm going to let him drive it. You know, we're gonna get the perspective of a Ford Raptor owner. Have you ever drove a scat pack? Never. I've always uh, looked into it. Honestly, uh, if I were to get a vehicle, it'd be a wide body Hellcat. That's or right. SRT, so I'm pretty Hell excited yeah. to get my hands on this thing. Uh, yeah, see it, see what it offers. Hell yeah, we're gonna get his perspective on it. That's dope that you never drove one and that you're in, you were interested in purchasing one. So we're gonna go on a little drive. Like I said, we just got done driving that thing and we got a race in. And, you know, some unfortunate stuff almost happened, man. So, let's just say he's an insurance broker, but we're lucky we didn't have to use him on that one. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. But, yeah, let's hop up in this thing, man. And we got to point out the Yeezys. Right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Matching with the with the scat pack. It's meant to be. It's meant to be, bro. Is the Yeezys matching the scat pack or is the scat pack matching the Yeezys? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Organic and Tall Guy Car Views and you guys see me. You know I always got to point out the kicks, man. Unless I ain't wearing nothing special, but you know today he's he's wearing the Yeezys. I'm rocking the infrareds, so you already know what it is, man. Yes, legendary meets legendary. But let's get it, man. Right. I don't need to do a walk around or anything of this. You guys already know. Actually, let's pop the hood one time for him. All right, let's get it. It's right down there. Just in case for anybody who isn't familiar with the content, it's nothing special up in here, but you know, it ain't fully stock. Well, you got some new parts in here, right? Got a couple little things, you know what I'm saying? This ain't this ain't nothing new but or nothing special, you know, just the oil catch can. It looks good though, you know what I'm saying? And then we got the Momentum GT uh, cold air intake. Pretty good little thing right there. Looks good as well. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Stock, I had the 180 degree thermostat, but I have the stock one in there now. Um, if you guys want to see why that is, go back and check that video out. I got another video coming up on that as well, so stay tuned for that. But that's pretty much it, man. <laughs> Just for anybody that didn't know. That's right. That's it. Can I see it? 392. Did you All recently right. add these uh, to the paddle shifters? Yeah, I added those little red things. I'm going to probably take those off pretty soon too because they just look too big for the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to get the um, the Hellcat ones instead. Alright, let's yeah. get it. Let's get it. Uh, push the start. Yes sir, we got the red push the start. Oh, big Tori. I don't know if I fuck with Tori anymore shooting bitches in the feet and shit. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> so we started in street. Yeah, we'll start it in street and then we'll throw it in track mode just so you can see the difference. Ooh, off the start. Good. A <laughs> little responsiveness. <laughs> and this one ain't like the Raptor, it don't it don't stick. That motherfucker will get loose. Really nice steering wheel as well. Yeah, I, I do. I like that steering wheel, bro. I wasn't used to that. That's one of the things I liked a lot. Getting into this thing. And you do have installed the... It's like a pedal commander in a way. Oh, I have a pedal box as well. I haven't actually been using that, dude. I'm actually... That's what I'm doing the giveaway on. Oh. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm giving that bad boy away. Nice. Feels really responsive right now. And that's barely in street. Like, we'll let you like get a little speed in street mode before I throw you in try. I just want you to see the difference of it. <laughs> so, man, what you think? Like, is it spacious enough in here yeah, for you? It feels like a Raptor, but in a car. Like, as far <laughs> as like the seats, they hug you. Yeah. Like, the steering wheel feels like it has like the comes out a little bit right here. Yeah. Really comfortable. Paddle shifters remind me of my Raptor. Yeah, except yours come all the way down. That's yeah, just dope. They, they go down about another like inch or two. Yeah. Uh, what brand's your radar? That's the Escort Max 360. Link in the description if you guys are interested in any of those. <laughs> That's badass. Yeah, it's good, bro. Yeah, the only thing I can compare this to of a Dodge Charger, I had a 06 or 07 V6. Uh, charger, but they've upgraded so much throughout the years. Oh, hell yeah. This being the 
top package, right? I mean, aside from the Hellcat yeah. and the Demon and the motherfucking Red Eye and all that shit. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's the best the best bang for your buck, you know? Exactly. Because if you were if you were to get a Hellcat same year, you know, same options and all that, it's gonna basically be like double the price, almost. That's crazy. I mean, I have the intake, but that's it. Every little bit helps. All that yeah. Flow. Yeah. And then once I get the tune and all that, you know, it'll do better. Throw you in track mode right now once you come to this little stop. Ready? We got a C6 up there. That's right. Your brakes feel amazing. The Brembos. Brembos. Yes, sir. Uh, to be exact. Yes, sir. The six pistons. Yeah, they feel pretty good, dude. It's worth the brake test. Oh, got another. Is that a Scat? No, it's like an RT or a GT. It's a newer one though. Yeah, it looks like a GT. G-Tizzle. Oh, <laughs> That's amazing. Huh? That's a little difference, huh? <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Dude, the, the like, transmission shifts kind of remind me of my Raptor too. Not they're so hard. Bad. Yeah, they're aggressive. This fucking guy. Oh. Brake Test the me. brakes a little bit. Yeah, good, good response. Honestly, <laughs> that's what I missed about my Mustang the most. I think it was like six piston in the front, yeah. four piston rear. Yeah, I never have an issue stopping in this thing, dude. Surprised me though, in like being in the passenger seat because yeah, you don't yeah. feel it as much when you're in the driver's seat, you know. Uh -huh. So like when you when you hit it, it actually like does throw me in the back of my seat a little bit. Yeah, when, when you were uh, test driving the Raptor, I was like, oh wow, it feels a little different back here. <laughs> <Around the side. laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Oh, see, they know, bruh. They see that lowered stance, they're like, you know, let me get out the way. Get out the way. Yeah. Really smooth. Yeah, I'm smooth. doing. Good amount of speed. Yeah, it doesn't even seem like it. I feel on. like I'm doing 65 right now. <laughs> exactly. That's how when I first got it. That's exactly what I said. I'm like, bro, this is gonna be trouble for me. That's why this was the first thing I got. Like legit. Right when I got this, got that motherfucker picked it up right away. Wow. Yeah, because when you're going fast, you don't, you can't even tell, bro. You hardly ever, you hardly even push on it, and you're already like doing a good amount. On the Raptor, it's almost the same deal. It's like a good. 20 miles over than what you think yeah this is just so smooth for sure yeah yeah that thing's smooth as hell so right now we're on like full track mode full track mode bro and it is lower too i lowered it with the h and r springs oh yeah i was gonna say it has sounds like a great ride for being lowered yeah you can't feel too much of a difference like obviously you didn't feel it when it was stock but for me personally, I don't, I didn't feel that much of a difference. And it's not like like too bouncy or anything, right? Yeah, it's not bouncy at all. And this is a eight speed. Eight speed, yep. Uh, so other than that, what do you? Nothing else really done to it, right? Uh, not, um, not really, dude. What else have I done? Other than the, the lowering springs. What I showed under the trunk. Yeah, nothing else really done to it, dude. Pretty stock for now. I got some stuff on the way though, you know what I'm saying? So there'll be some other stuff done. And then after that, I got even more stuff on the way. I got a lot of stuff on the way. Performance and uh, cosmetic, so cosmetic, yeah. yeah. Are you down to go hit a little bit of this curvy road? It's like, yeah, go like ahead, bro. Minutes. I got, yeah, five minutes is cool. I got till five o'clock. I think it'll be like perfect timing. Yes, sir. Just to see. A little bit of the handling skills. Yeah. So your tire size is all the same all around? Yeah, same shit. 305s okay. all the way around. So I know with the Mustangs, they, the two in the rear are a little bit wider than the front. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, these ones are squared, squared stance. And you got manual mode as well? You got manual mode. And this will shift for you, right? No, no. it'll shift for you when you use the paddle shifters if this is in drive. 
but if this is in manual mode, it won't. Oh, okay, okay. I forgot that motherfucker was in manual mode before. Yeah. <laughs> and I went to like do a roll, and that shit just redlined, scared the shit out of me. I was like, fuck. Girl, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> real, bro. <laughs> Skip the gear. No, that's good. <laughs> Paddle shifters? Yeah. A little similar to the feel of the Raptors. But I feel this is more like precise in a way. Yeah. Well, it better be. I mean, it's a car, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, they're both. like it handles pretty good but like you can hit the gas on a turn like like you just were but if you hit it a little too hard too that much, much. you know it's torquey you know yeah, what i'm saying it kind of whips out on that you. thing will whip out on you quick people think that these things won't be able to handle very well oh yeah dude they handle their own you know yeah, i think it handles pretty good you know i've been in uh shorty's one le and obviously it's not nothing compared to that but i mean for what it is that thing handles pretty well Yeah. I feel that'd be pretty uh, interesting to get a race, uh, a dig with the Raptor. That'd oh yeah, me cool. and you. Yeah, that would be dope. We could do one uh, before my tune and then after my tune, see if it does any. Hell yeah. Any difference? Yeah, we could do that. Hell yeah. Drop a comment down below if you guys want to see a dig with the Raptor and the Scat Pack. We could definitely do that. With the dig for me. I gotta get traction, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Especially with the tires that I have. Like, they're one, they're worn out, plus they're the Pirelli, the Pirelli P0, so those aren't like the best tires when it comes to the fucking grip. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah, I would, I would like to do that, that'd be dope. So what do you think, how'd she do with the, with the handling and all that? Handling was great. It's pretty good, man. Yeah, I see it. I feel like it could definitely be pushed a lot more, but. <laughs> yeah, for sure, it could, you could push this thing, bro. I mean, if you have the right tires and stuff. Exactly. get the wide body comparing to like something in the same price range like uh that, that what is it one le camaro Oof. yeah see i don't know dude I've, i just always liked the wide body and like i knew the the charger was a popular vehicle i knew i wanted to start youtube and stuff mm. and i've just always wanted a wide body vehicle no matter what it was like i always liked wide bodies like no on everything you know yeah it just makes it look so much better more aggressive especially on these because they're they don't have like too much shape to them mm -hmm. but once just you add enough. that wide body you know mm -hmm. yeah they have just enough once you add that wide body it's just like adds so much to it so once i seen that i was like <laughs> damn bro Dude, there's a huge community now for yeah. wide bodies and all the 392s they've done a lot of 
Yeah. Great more massages going on their way. Yeah, for sure, bro. Like Mopar in general is, has a huge fucking community, so I was pretty much like, I think that's the best way to go with it. And honestly, like before I started looking more into 1LEs and Camaros and stuff, I, I did I I would have had a Mustang ahead of that. Like I was considering getting a Mustang. Like the Camaro wasn't even really an option, you know. Yeah. But now it's like, now I like that one LE. Now it's like that might have took the place of the Mustang for me. Even though I like the PP, what is it, the two PP or the oh, PP two? Yeah, PP two. Yeah, the PP twos are dope as well. Yeah. We actually got that new one coming, that Mach Mach one, I believe. Uh, it's gonna be more track. Uh, oh purpose shit. Purpose made. Uh, yeah. That's dope. Ooh, the Mustang wants to race, dog. <laughs> watch both ways I always wanted a Corvette as well so that's oh, gonna yeah. that's gonna be the next one bro the C7 Z06 yes sir sometime next year that'll be my seven speed those motherfuckers come seven speed Is it a manual manual seven speed oh, yeah that's crazy huh that's, that's really crazy. yeah and the Z06 is the C7s come uh, supercharged the Z06 yeah the Z06s do I thought only the ZR1s did. Ooh. Honestly, I can see myself in one of these. It's pretty rad. Yeah? Might catch Mikey with the motherfucking 392 pretty soon. Never know. <laughs> but a 392 and a Raptor? That's goals right there. Both wide body. But both wide body. You guys see the wide body? Thank you, Louie. That was no, pretty awesome. It's only right, brother. You know? Yes, sir. It's only right, man. Let me drive your whip and almost moving and crash that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck. laughs> so we back. See the Raptor? It's a wrap. It's a wrap, no Raptor. So what'd you think, Mikey? It's pretty awesome, dude. I, I highly consider one. If not a 392, um, I don't know if I'd spend the extra cash because I didn't. Mean, Probably just as nice as a Hellcat. You gotta drive the Hellcat and then see. Drive the yeah. And see the difference, but it's pretty badass. I mean, yes, sir. Definitely a uh, considered one. That's right, bro. Over a Mustang? Over a Mustang? Definitely, yeah. I've had a Mustang. Ooh, I would. That's right, bro. Coming from an ex Mustang owner. S550, normal, 50 stick shift with the cars. Like, Oof. It's by far more comfortable. That's right. Mustang. I would say that this is like hands down the most comfortable when it comes to comfort. There's no muscle car beating this. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to comfort. You got comfort, space. Speed. Speed, yeah. There it is, guys. Style. Style, you know, look at it. Especially when it's lowered like that, you know? And we ain't even barely begun with this motherfucker, man. So stay tuned for all the stuff we got coming. Stay tuned for all the stuff Mikey got coming. Go got follow him. Goodies, Turb underscore Raptor. Yes, sir. Instagramming. YouTube. All that. Go follow him, man. Um, that's gonna do it for this one, man. We went on a ride, I rode his. I mean, pause, I drove his. <laughs> I <laughs> drove. That shit. <laughs> that's a big edit right there. <laughs> Bleep. Yeah, start that over, <laughs> cut. Nah, but uh, yeah, man, I drove his, he drove mine. Uh, pretty dope, man, all in all. So go follow him, like I said, I'll put it on the screen for you guys. Um, and stay tuned for more content to come. Maybe we'll take that thing off road and see what Mikey could do with it. Yes, sir. You dude. know. But yeah, other than that, if you guys enjoy the content, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It helps tremendously, and I appreciate it greatly. Go do the same to my boys over here. Much appreciated. Yes, sir, man. It helps tremendously. So you know, let's keep this thing going. Uh, everything that I use and recommend down in the description below. If you guys are interested in any of that stuff, go down there, check it all out. It's all there for you. Other than that, who is Louis13 checking out? Salute, my boy Mikey. Later. Yes, sir.